Hi and welcome to this In Development video. We're going to be talking about what's coming up in Oceanus on the 30th of September. We've got new burn emissions, changes to modules, French localization and improved graphics, as well as much, much more. But here are the developers to tell you more about it. Oceanus is going to contain the first big wave of the module tier aside project that we talked about at FanFest this last year. Uh, it has a lot of the same goals as the ship tier aside project that we've been working on that many of you know very well, where we're trying to make sure that every module has a good and valuable purpose and we don't have any of these junk named modules that no one has any use for. So we're going through and condensing a lot of modules into fewer types, uh, but making sure that each of those types are high quality and have an actual value. And uh, it's going to come along with a, a general um, cleaning up of a lot of our uh, module tiers as we go up through the progression to make sure that that actually advances logically. This first group that we're working on includes cap flux coils, uh, reactor controls, micro auxiliary power cores, uh, CPU enhancers, and ship scanners, cargo scanners, uh, survey scanners. So we're starting off with these modules that are relatively lower impact and a bit simpler to let people get used to the general plan of how we're moving forward. And then as we go through different releases in the future, we're going to start hitting module groups that are higher impact, like uh, shield boosters and guns. We're going to uh, be giving the option for you guys to turn on a new feature we're calling notifications. This is a system we've built to consolidate a bunch of the messages that you get all across the EVE client, uh, pop-ups in the lower right about what's happening with your contacts, in the upper left about your skills, in the middle of the screen about who knows what. Uh, we're going to try and uh, collapse all those things into one nice looking system to give feedback to people in EVE. Um, we're doing that because we're working on the new player experience and we wanted a clean way to send new players messages about what they're doing in EVE and we saw an opportunity to make improvements for everybody. You can have it as an option, so uh, after Oceanus launches, head into the escape menu. Uh, you'll find a che checkbox in the general options where you can uh, turn on this feature and that'll allow us to get a lot of really good feedback in a TQ environment rather than only on Singularity so that by the time we do ship it out to everybody in a future release, we'll know that we're in really good shape and everybody's going to enjoy the feature. Last release Hyperion, we released uh, four new burn emissions, which were very well received and have um, added a bit of difficulty to EVE for people that felt EVE wasn't difficult anymore. And we've been seeing really positive results from uh, people taking the missions, people talking about ship fittings, discussing tactics, people even ganging up against the NPCs. And we felt it gave a little bit of uh, fresh breath uh, to the MPE content. So we decided now to add four new missions coming out in next release. Uh, they're going to be a little bit different, but in the same vein as the burner missions, you're going to be facing a assault frigate uh, NPC, and he'll have henchmen. So he'll have two logistic uh, henchmen following him around and uh, repairing him. So the challenge for the player is to go and uh, apply damage on the right place at the right time, and then chunk their way through the mission. So uh, we're hoping not to have as much of an intensive fight uh, as in the last four burn missions, but more of a slow build up and like good excitement and a good challenge mainly. In Oceanus, we're introducing a feature that will allow you to import and export fittings in plain text format from third party sites such as PIFA, EFT and Killports. These kind of features are mostly based on your requests and feedback. So if you want to contribute, go on the forums and take part in the discussion. Hi, I'm CCP Tara. I work in the localization department in CCP and I'm in charge of the French translation. We've been working hard for the past few months and as a lot of French speaking players are already playing the game in English, we decided to launch the game in French so the players can have an even better experience. We are working on an update to the wormhole objects so now you can see what the maximum ship size is that can pass through a wormhole. We made four distinctive models, four different colors, that tell you how big your ship can be so it passes through. The actual graphics uh, look a little bit like we had in the trailer. That was our uh, visual guidance. We wanted to make it look more trailer-like. I think it's really beautiful and I hope it helps you with your fleet going into a wormhole. And once you reach into uh, the wormhole, you will see new wormhole backgrounds. We gave all the wormhole backgrounds an overhaul, we increased the resolution, we uh, repainted them, 
Mm, they are now of the same specs as all the other backgrounds in the game. They are just beautiful. The next thing we'll introduce is the new cloak effect. So I am in my crow ship here and I am going to cloak now. So you disappear. The nice effect. Get a hexagon UI overlay. That is your ship when it's close, cloaked. You can clearly see the direction. Uncloak effect. You just come out of nowhere. Here you are. That's the cloak effect. Don't hesitate to give us your feedback on the forums. Et les Français là-bas, n'hésitez pas à nous rejoindre, on vous attend.